What's up guys, are you a fan of the Chase Ellie and Kevin Harvick feud? Do they need to stop this madness or or do they need to continue this madness? And is it great for NASCAR? Let's go and talk about it. All right, what's up guys? Joey Logano warns NASCAR's Elliott Harvick feud affects thousands of people. This article is off foxnews.com. Joey Logano, he goes on to say, I don't know where it's gonna go, but but I know one thing, you want it to resolve as soon as possible you're in the middle of this because it's, it's not about driver versus driver when there's thousands of people on each side that it affects, Logano said. This was at Charlotte Roval uh, last week whenever Kevin Harvick spun out um, uh, Chase Elliott and a lot of people were saying that Chase Elliott should have been black flagged because because of the bumper flapping in the wind and I, man Twitter has been going has been going crazy Harvick versus Elliott regardless is great entertainment NASCAR needs it rather you love Chase Elliott or hate Chase Elliott rather you love Kevin Harvick or hate Kevin Harvick this is good for the sport and sometimes real life teaches you good lessons you remember Bristol yeah so he pretty much admitted it. It's all good, and um, just glad to be moving on. I'm proud of our team. You know, as far as Kevin goes, just want to wish them a, a, a merry off season and a happy Christmas. Merry off season. Merry off season and happy freaking Christmas, right? But anyways, like I said, this is great for the sport and their feud, man. Now, Twitter, like I said, Twitter has been blowing, blowing up. You. You got this. You got this war going on with Twitter, and even Bill Elliott said that he he posted. Uh, he didn't really say anything about it, but he posted a really funny meme of pretty much how Twitter has been going on lately. And but also with this race coming up in in Texas Motor Speedway this coming week, uh, Sunday, Texas Motor Speedway, it's the thing like Joey Logano said they like Joey Logano said the feud affects thousands of people now will Kevin Harvick do anything to jeopardize Chase Elliott's playoff hopes and for him for his little championship run we don't know we may just have to see the rest of the story if there is a rest of the story is this feud between Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott good for the sport just let me know in the comments below and what do you think will happen at Texas Motor Speedway? For good. Okay, I'm getting into this now. I don't care. <laughs> We're getting to eight minutes and they'll bring it Just, up. So, Larson, or that's not, good Larson, Elliot versus Harvick. We're about halfway through the race and Harvick gets behind Elliot and going through the corner ends up driving through Elliot and sending Elliot into the wall. Oh, man. Um, and Elliot's like entire back of his car is torn up. So then mm -hmm. Elliot is now at risk of missing the playoffs. Like this is hundred percent Harvick did this as, you know, payback. Like literally after the race, he got into the car, like after his race was done. And they said, uh, what happened between you and Elliot? And he said, do you remember Bristol? That's all he said was, do you remember Bristol? Oh man. So it was blatantly on purpose, but you know what? NASCAR came out in 2010 and basically said, boys have at it. Like we want to see you guys go out there and, you know, we're not going to be out there giving a bunch of fines for you guys, like, wrecking each other, but be smart about it, basically, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, this be is boys have at it. Or as this is, this is literally what NASCAR asked for, was they mm. want more excitement like this, and then, oh, man, this is what pisses me off, okay? Yeah. They made Harvick, Elliott, and, like, I think there were six people in the call from each team go into a call and discuss that this shouldn't be happening anymore. What? Why? Why? You after, literally came out and said, boys have at it 10 years ago, and we've been having boys have at it, but as soon as your fucking golden boy gets his ass wrecked, you go and say, no, no, we can't have this anymore. You know what? I don't oh even think that it's a God. Chase Elliott problem. I think it's a problem that they, do, they know that their playoff system comes down to one race, and Harvick could easily ruin this championship for Elliott. 100%. Mm -hmm. I, that could easily, easily be it. Easily. Yep. And you know what? Any other race, I don't feel like it would be that big of a problem. You know what changes that so that that doesn't happen? You can have a boys have at it season? 
non playoffs. No. Okay. No That's playoffs. All you need. It fixes no everything. No playoffs. Why are we having it playoffs? Like it fixes everything. We had the same fucking thing happen two years uh, a while ago with Excuse the chase, the language, and this was kind of a playoff system, but kind I of different. About the language. Where mm-hmm. Jeff Gordon went to the corner at the end of a race and absolutely took out Clint Boyer because he was mad at him, and Clint Boyer was in contention to win the championship. We had the mm-hmm. same thing happen with Matt Kenseth and Joey Logano. But you know what? With Matt Kenseth and Joey Logano, they said whatever. Because you know why? Because Joey's not a popular driver. If you yeah. want to stay with people actually respecting you in NASCAR, be consistent. You have lacked the most consistency I've ever seen in the last three weeks. It's insane. It's, it's gross. Mm-hmm. Because you had Joey Logano get taken out by Matt Kenseth. I don't care if Joey Logano is locked into the next round. I don't care if it's a different scenario. It's still a driver taking another driver out with no intent of continuing the race, like, fairly. Zero intent. I don't right. care if Kenseth's out. I don't care if Logano is locked into the next round. You're still not being consistent because nothing happened to Matt Kenseth. What did he get? I think he got parked for the rest of the race. Great. His car was damaged. And he got a fine. Okay. He doesn't care. He's out of the playoffs. What does mm, he care? Big deal. Big deal. Big whoop. Joe Logano is literally going for four straight wins at that point, and you take it away from him. He's in the lead. I hate Joe Logano as much as the next guy, and I love that move by Matt Kenseth. But if NASCAR is going to turn around and say, oh, Kevin Harvey can't be doing that, or oh, Chase Elliott, stop this nonsense. Well, you know what? Let, you you said boys have at it. You ignored that. You ignored the Boyer Gordon thing. That's just the ones I can think off the top of my head. You're so inconsistent, and this is why I'm getting fed up, is the inconsistencies. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? <laughs> He's right. The inconsistencies with NASCAR. They did say they, they they promoted that. Boys have at it. Boys have at it. But whenever it's somebody else, it's okay. But whenever I like I have nothing against Chase Elliott. But like uh the guys from Racing Junkies podcast said, if it's somebody else, it's okay, but when it's Chase Chase Elliott, the golden boy, it's bad. Y- y'all need to calm down. Because I'm sure Chase Elliott, well, Chase Elliott does have probably the most fans out there amongst all the drivers. And so I guess it's good for the sport for them to calm down because maybe NASCAR is afraid of the fans getting pissed off and not wanting to watch any more racing if Chase Elliott gets crashed by Kevin Harvick at Texas Motor Speedway and is out of the playoffs. But just let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, y'all have a good one.